What's up everyone and welcome back to the MMA Zone. Today, let's get started with Chael Sonnen doesn't think Alexander Volkanovsky defeating Islam Makachev would be an upset. Despite being the pound for pound kingpin, UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky is currently a pretty significant betting underdog in his upcoming fight with Islam Makachev. After Makachev's dominant performance at UFC 280, where he ran through Charles Oliveira en route to capturing UFC gold, the streaking Dagestani superstar came out as a pretty strong favorite when the fight with Volk was announced. Although many are counting Volkanovski out of the fight, former title challenger Chael Sonnen believes a win from the featherweight champion wouldn't be the upset that many people are acting like it would be. He spoke in a video on his YouTube channel saying, The most annoying question, and it was this, Hey Chael, if Volkanovski beats Islam, is that the upset of the century? No. So no, no, of course not. Volkanovski's ranked number one. Islam is ranked number five. There's, you have to turn to the pound for pound list. It's the only list that both guys are on. As Sonnen went on to explain, the two men are both entering the octagon on spectacular win streaks, with Volkanovski winning 12 straight inside the octagon and Makachev winning 11 straight. Both fighters had dominant years in 2022 where they both went 2-0 inside the octagon. But given the fact that the featherweight champion is unbeaten in his entire UFC career, Sonnen thinks calling a win for Volk a major upset is a bit much. The two men are set to clash at UFC 284 in Perth. With champ champ status on the line for the pound for pound kingpin, do you think he'll be able to capture lightweight gold or will the size and grappling of Makachev be too much for him? Give us your thoughts in the comments section below. Matt Brown weighs in on Michael Chandler putting entertainment over strategy. It's no secret that lightweight Michael Chandler is one of the most exciting fighters on the UFC roster. After making a statement in his debut by knocking out Dan Hooker in the first round, Chandler then put on a thrilling showcase in a title fight with Charles Oliveira. Although he came up short in his bid for a UFC title, he showed fans that, win or lose, he's coming to put on a show. Since then, Chandler has continued to show that he's one of the most exciting fighters in the sport. Recently putting on a back and forth three round affair with Dustin Poirier that saw him nearly secure victory before then tapping out to a rear naked choke late in the fight. Although Chandler's fighting style has earned him widespread admiration from fans, it's no secret that oftentimes he's not fighting for himself. UFC veteran Matt Brown spoke about Iron Mike's recent fighting style, referencing his loss to Justin Gagey and his back and forth fight with Dustin Poirier, saying, and When he goes out there and wings like that, now, does that mean you're going to lose it every time? No, because it works for him a lot of times too. But what you're doing is you're playing those guys' game. Take them out of their game. If you have the ability to do that, a lot of guys don't have the ability to do that, right? Um, you know, there's, there's guys that, you know, that's what they're kind of stuck with. While Chandler heals up from his recent loss to Dustin Poirier, a super fight with Conor McGregor looms off in the distance. According to UFC President Dana White, when the Irish superstar returns to the octagon, it'll likely be Chandler who welcomes him back. Of course, that will largely depend on when McGregor is cleared to return to active competition. If the fight ends up coming to fruition, how do you see things playing out? Give us your thoughts in the comments section below. Shavkat Rachmanov trolls Kevin Lee after Chimaev callout. According to streaking two-division contender Hamzat Chimaev, he's having quite a hard time finding an opponent. Recently, he revealed that the UFC has offered four different opponents a fight with him, and every single one turned the bout down. After his claim started to make headlines, former UFC fighter Kevin Lee threw his name into the mix, saying that he would accept the fight with Chimaev. Although he seemed to understand that the UFC re-signing him to fight Chimaev was a long shot, the point he wanted to get across was that there are fighters willing to accept the fight with Boers. Shavkat Rachmanov, who recently had his upcoming opponent, Jeff Neal, withdraw from their scheduled showdown, was quick to poke fun at Lee, responding by asking Lee where he fits into the callout. The way many took the tweet, Rachmanov was referencing a joke in the fight community from 2019 when Kevin Lee knocked out Gregor Gillespie. After that fight, Chael Sonnen took to YouTube to ask where Lee fits in a stacked lightweight division. So far, no response yet from Lee, who has yet to fight since his March win over Diego Sanchez at Habib Nurmagomedov's Eagle FC 46 event. In the case of both Rachmanov and Chimaev, a fight with either man could secure Lee a route back to the UFC. After losing four of his last five, the UFC cut ties with him in 2021. When he made his debut for Eagle FC, he competed in the 165-pound super lightweight division. 
With Rachmanov scheduled to fight on January 14th, the UFC will have to do some scrambling if they hope to keep him on the card. Although it seems like a long shot, do you think there's any world where Kevin Lee returns to the octagon to fight either Shavkat Rachmanov or Hamza Chimaev? Give us your thoughts in the comments section below. Before we continue, make sure you give that like button some love and be sure to subscribe to the MMA Zone for all of the latest news. Luke Rockhold teases UFC return in 2023. When Luke Rockhold returned to the octagon last year to fight Paulo Costa, he sustained a broken nose early in the first round that immediately changed the trajectory of the fight. Although he showed tremendous heart and determination throughout the bout, Costa proved to be too much for him over the course of the three-round affair. Following the decision loss, Rockhold spoke to Joe Rogan inside the octagon where he announced his retirement. As he revealed to Rogan and the thousands of fans in attendance, he was simply too old. It marked the end of the Three Kings era, or Four Kings of AKA era, when you include Habib Nurmagomedov. Despite earning plenty of admiration from fans in the loss, Rockhold then opened the door to return shortly after, saying that if he got his body and his mind right, he knows what the future could hold. This week, he teased a return on Instagram as he simply wrote, putting the old rig to the test. 2023 could get interesting. Despite Rockhold seemingly having the itch to return to active competition, his longtime friend and training partner, Daniel Cormier, previously said that Rockhold needs to stay retired. The way he sees things, there was no ending more perfect than the one the former middleweight champion had, where he earned the widespread admiration that had eluded him throughout his career. Although he came up short of getting the win, Cormier doesn't think Rockhold should try to return to active competition. At 38 years old, the former UFC and Strike Force middleweight champion will turn 39 in October. With three straight losses, Rockhold hasn't had his hand raised inside the octagon since 2017 when he TKO'd David Branch. Do you think we'll see the former champion back in the octagon in 2023? Give us your thoughts in the comments section below. And now for our breaking news story of the day. Aljo beats Henry. Aljo moves up to 45. Me versus Cheeto, July. Damn. Massive fight for the belt. Or Aljo beats Henry, comes back. I sleep Aljo. And uh, then I beat up Cheeto. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. As long as Cheeto gets the job done. I like Corey. Me versus Cheeto is a massive fight. Me versus Corey is a big... Me versus anybody is a good-sized fight. The biggest fight in the division is me versus anybody. But me versus Cheeto, you know, the people have been waiting for it. And it's, you know, yeah, it's getting closer. Demir Ismagulov retires from fighting, citing health complications. Demir Ismagulov has officially announced his retirement from fighting just weeks after dropping a decision loss to Armin Sarukian at UFC Fight Night Cannoneer vs. Strickland last month. The news seemingly came out of nowhere, with few details given by the former M1 lightweight champion. Although the loss marked his first inside the octagon, Ismagulov had been on an absolute tear, winning five straight in the octagon over the last four years. He broke the news on Instagram, sending fight fans into a frenzy as they questioned just what had happened in the wake of his recent loss to Sarukian. Unfortunately, due to circumstances and health problems, I am forced to end my sports career, Ismagulov wrote in Russian, thanks to all those who were with me regardless of the outcome in the battles, who were sincerely sick and worried. It was an interesting journey. A moment to remember. Give everyone a hug. He leaves the sport as the number 12 ranked lightweight in the UFC's official ladder. At just 31 years old, he undoubtedly becomes one of the greatest what-ifs in the history of the sport. Given how dominant he had been in the regional scene prior to being signed by the UFC, Ismagulov was well on his way to title contention in the eyes of many. Throughout the course of his professional career, he racked up an overwhelmingly dominant 24-2 record. In the wake of his announcement, fans have continued to hold out hope that he will return to active competition in the future. With Zabit Magomed Sharipov's return rumored for 2023, many are hoping Ismagulov's retirement will play out similarly and result in him making a return to the octagon in the future. Today's video is packed with some juicy stories from the fight world. What are your thoughts about what's going on in MMA? Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the MMA Zone to see more videos just like this. See you next time.